Hmm. Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you are on, I want to welcome you to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija, where we talk about this real deep stuff. Okay. Somebody brought me some real good grapes. Great. But before I get started, let me get rid of it. Let me get to talk about these magnetic personalities that people may not see as really harmful right away when they first encounter. Usually it takes a little while, unless you're attuned to it, unless you have uh, an education base in it, Uh, or an academia presence about yourself, especially when it comes to psychology and matters of sociology. When you encounter, encounter some of these magnetic personalities, a lot of times you can be smitten, smitten by them and their charming ways. All through time, there have been these particular type of narcissistic individuals with super energetic personalities. Oh, when they're positive, we love them, right? For instance, like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> who was so full of himself, so um, <laughs> driven in his uh, a role and journey to becoming a champ- heavyweight champion of the world, he began to show you all kinds of um, narcissistic behavior. But like I said, it was not the harmful kind. So when we're dealing with a lot of uh, individuals who are highly driven, highly motivated, very charismatic, once they're on the side of good, we don't have a problem with them because I'm sure we all know individuals like that. They bring energy to the conversation. They bring um, hope to a situation. They are just, again, charismatic and energetic in terms of their approach to life. What happens when you get one of those personalities that are truly wicked? What happens when you get a narcissistic type of personality individual and that person is sadistic and just overly cruel? Oh, my God. I do believe a lot of police officers fall into that category. However, we can look all through history. People like King Leopold. Mussolini. What about Adolf Hitler? Who could have been more narcissistic, pompous, and arrogant, and just an outright freaking just out of control, ignomania, ignomaniac? I mean, 
Mm. Besides someone that is so charged, you, you can't fathom the depths of the charismatic nature of these individuals. And what's really, really scary is how they get people to follow them. How they get people to listen to their energy. It's almost like they get soaked in, sucked in, and it's like a cult environment. Right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Probably got them on your job, maybe a supervisor. No, you got them in church. Missionaries. Mothers on the motherboard. Pastor. Then you got people like Jim Jones, who led all those people in 1979. Go over to South America, Guyana, Jonestown. And told them because the federal government was after him, wanted to investigate him. He took his loyalty and his madness to the people, and they all committed mass suicide. Mass suicide. What about Idi Amin? I said Idi Amin was so ruthless that his wife, when his wife had a baby with another man, and he took the baby and her and put him outside, hung him outside the compound. Insane. What about Donald Trump? How many of y'all see Donald Trump as a cult leader? How many of y'all see Donald Trump as being in the same vein as an Adolf Hitler or Jim Jones, an Idi Amin, a Mussolini, King Leopold? How many of y'all see Donald Trump in that same vein? Because I sure do. And the people that follow him and follow them are people that are in a cult, like a mindset. They're not the brightest bulbs on the tree at all. But, or however, they are the most loyal to Trump. And this is sad when you've got to let a man in the year 2021 hypnotize you so bad and mess your mind up so bad after four years of him some of y'all don't act like you know what normal is but I know that you do I know that you So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please subscribe, please share, please comment, and please donate to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.